I can't really remember what I think I was talk, trying to talk to Matt, just telling him the alerting because they run some RPO off of the formation I think that they were in. So I was just trying to tell him to be aware of that. And you know, they're going a little bit faster than kind of expected earlier in the game. And then, yeah, Jalen made a great play. Your second pick six of the season. Uh, you've been playing a lights out this season. Oh, what's it been like this senior campaign and, and just having to step up with kind of all the hits the defense has taken this year? Um, yeah, everyone else, including myself, yeah, I have, you know, with uh, Nate and uh, Nick and even Chris Board when he was hurt. And, uh, um, all the guys have, um, unfortunately, you know, Pierre's out. Unfortunately, those guys, you know, um, have been down, and that's a lot of leadership. But that just, you know, there's always been the next guy up. So there's just a lot of uh, a lot of push for the younger guys to continue to get better. They got to step up and play and uh, show some of their leadership skills too. So um, that's just not on, only on me, but um, that's on the other guys, and it kind of really, um, you know, helps us grow. But it's a, it's a common theme, reoccurring theme this this season is some of the adversity we've been going through. Did you have time to uh, react on the interception? It seemed like it just kind of went in your hands. And then... Yeah, it was, like I said, Jalen made a great play and it fell right in my lap and um, just kind of reacted. So, yeah, it was, it was Jalen made the play. He's the three touchdowns the last two games. Do uh, you feel like there's more dialed in throw or what do you think has been going on in the past? I think we've had, obviously tonight or today, had a really good game plan and, um, you know, guys made plays. Offensive line protected really well and, um, you know, Chase is, you know, doing all the work on a couple of them there. So it, it's just, it's a combination of things. And um, we've been practicing well throughout the week. And I think that leads to success on Saturday. Now, the big explosive plays on offense is something I know you've been wanting. You've had it now the last two games. How much more confidence wise to have that on the offensive yeah, side? Of the I ball? mean, anytime you have explosive plays, that's huge. It's good for our offense and uh, kind of settles us into games and um, allows us to get to some different calls and things like that. And uh, guys have been playing really hard and, and we're executing right now. And, uh, you know, if those two things, you know, explosives are going to happen. Chase, when they call the wheel roll play, you just light, light up. It seems like when they run that. It usually ends up with something pretty good. Yeah, I, I love that that concept. But it's kind of felt good, you know, getting back to it a little bit. Uh, our conference, you know, kind of got used to seeing it a little bit. So at uh, San Diego coming here, and it's, it's a tough play to fit. I mean, it's a true run pass conflict, and Coach P did a great job dialing those couple <coughs> couple plays up. Easton, did you guys use the pass to set up the run today? No, I. No, I, we're always going to be in our goal is to run the football and, and stay on the field. And, um, you know, we talk about uh, being efficient on first and second down. So you're in a good opportunity to win on third down. And, and that way you're staying on the field and, and continue to, you know, keep the defense off the field, let them rest. And so um, guys are playing really well and, and, and executing, you know, a game plan uh, that, you know, Coach P and his staff have been doing a really good job all year. And guys are executing and, you know, that helps. Yeah, I mean, anytime scoring before half is big. It's good to have that momentum going into the half, and um, to make it three scores is huge. Um, and so, yeah, obviously scoring there is big, and you know, gotten some rhythm with with RJ. He made um, you know three or four really good catches on that drive, and um, offensive line protected really well. So um, that's huge going into half. What does a pick six do for a team? Yesterday, uh, it just give them all the momentum, especially in the dome. It's just crazy. It just give us momentum, uh, and it just hype up the sideline, hype up everybody. Just, just a huge momentum boost, really. That's it. Do you feel like you, do you guys feel like you set a a tone for yourselves here in the playoffs? Now you guys have a tough rematch coming up, but do you feel like you were able to to sell, set yourselves a good, confident tone here with this one over San Diego? You mean for our next game, South yeah. Dakota State? Yeah, or the future run, yeah. Uh, I don't think it matters. We, that's who we want to play, Temple. You guys have a chance with this game to technically beat every team on your schedule because they got you earlier. You can rebound and beat them. How important is that? What does that mean to you guys? Uh, well, it is. It's in the back of our heads. We are just a, a want to know for the day, but everybody knows that's the team that beat us. and. That's the number one team that we want to face. I, we all can't wait to play them. We was excited to find out that they won.
Chase, do you feel the offense is just getting more finally healthy? It seems throughout the year, some of down with a fullback, a running back, a line. Do you feel like the offense is now kind of got everyone ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone's kind of – that week uh, off was huge, you know, just getting everybody back. And, uh, you know, we got Bruce back. And, you know, unfortunately we had Shep out this week, but we'll get him back. And I think the whole offense is, you know, getting healthy and, and we're clicking and, and we're playing fast and playing hard. And, and that's that's what you need at the, at the end of the season. That's what we, we try to do is play our best football at the end of the year, and that's, that's all that matters. And we're starting to do that now. Trey, what's it take to play linebacker in this, in this system? In your system? MJ, MJ's toughness. <laughs> you got to be a tough player. Uh, you got to communicate all the time. Uh, you just got to know what you're doing, know the system, uh, go over your plays and stuff. It takes a lot of individual work um, to be successful in our program, period. And I think that's what makes our best players stand out the way they do. They do the work over themselves, they watch film by themselves. That's a lot of self-will to be successful in this program. Chase, what do you think about playing the Jack Rabbits again? I know we were fired up. It's, it's a, a matchup that you know we we felt we let that one get away from us the first time, and uh, you know we're excited to get them again here. And uh, we think we earned the opportunity to get them in the dome, so we're super excited to have uh, you know our 12th man with us, and uh, yeah, we're ready to go. And we're excited. And we're gonna we're gonna work hard this week, and we're gonna we're gonna pay attention to all the details just like every week, and go out there and fly around next week, and it's gonna be a good game. Jason, you feel like some big plays out there knowing that you know, Steve's probably going to uh, stack the box and get up there line and scrimmage you feel offensively, you can pop some things if you're able to execute a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I think you get that with anyone. And I, I like on the one of the wheel routes, I saw they had the Jets, so I kind of they had a, a blitz coming there from the left side, and uh, kind of knew, hey, it's going to be on right now. So when you get pressure like that and stuff, it, it kind of open up opens up the back end. So that's that's kind of huge for us. So you kind of got to fall into it a little bit, though. It's kind of. You got to set it up with Coach P and stuff, but he does a great job with that. And Jake, can you reflect that three of the last eight teams are all Valley teams and what that means about not only you guys, but your entire league? Yeah, I mean, it just exemplifies the toughness and uh, the talent. And um, year after year, I mean, it's just a, it's a reoccurring theme that, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of toughness and um, no, you know, so to say, no back down in, um, in the Missouri Valley. And, um, you know, it's just another test for us. Um, it's, you know, it's a team that we want to play, but yeah, it's uh, it's another test for us. And um, you know, like I said, it exemplifies what what's uh, what the valley is about. How much did you want to raise your game today with Pierre out? Was that something you took on your own shoulders? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Pierre, Nick, and Nate, and I mean, they're all leaders on this team, great players on this team, and you know, more more so, just really good friends of mine. And, you know, all the guys um, are playing for them, and you know, each other, and. Um, you know, it causes other guys to have to raise their level of play, but you know, it's something that we hold in the back of our mind that those guys would do anything to be out there, and you know, it's tough for them to sit on the sideline and watch us and not be able to go out there. So, um, especially if you're for Pierre, someone who has a chance to get back, it was really big for us to go out there, you know, get a good win, and you know, hopefully get him back here. Chase, as a running back group, how funny is it when you look down and you see that all the running backs had great days, and even Easton can contribute quite a bit on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's kind of what we're all about, you know. I mean, that's what we've done here as this program. You know, we share the love in the running back room, and I mean, Easton always in there stealing runs from us too. So uh, it's it's super exciting when everyone gets to share the ball a little bit and get and get after it and have a big day. Uh, I mean, that's what we're all about, and uh, we we enjoy each other and we love everyone else's successes. So it's super fun to have a game like that.